All right, guys, let's talk styles. We're going to be working with paragraph styles and character styles today. Uh, so to start out, I'm just going to window workspace typography and I'm going to reset typography. So we kind of have a clean workspace uh, to start with here. Now, to show you what paragraph styles and character styles are, I'm going to start out with just um, just some copy that we'll work with. You know, doesn't need to be anything crazy. Now, to give you a quick overview, uh, basically paragraph styles and character styles are a set of formatting attributes, right? So for example, the uh, font that we're using, the size, the color, right? All of those are considered different attributes. So we have uh, paragraph styles and character styles. Now, paragraph styles are basically that set of attributes that are applied to the entire paragraph well, character styles, you could probably guess, but they're applied to individual characters, right? Um, so anyways, let's pretend this is like our headline, you know, and this is our body copy. Um, so let's say I want to format the headline, right? Maybe I want my headline to be in all caps, you know, we'll just kind of stick with uh, Avenir for demonstration purposes. And let's say we always want our, um, headlines to be blue. And then to go ahead and format our body copy, you know, we'll go with Avenir book for this. Maybe it's a bit smaller. All right. So let's say that is the formatting I want. Now, paragraph styles and character styles are really essential because eventually you're going to be working with really large format documents. You're going to be creating books. Uh, maybe it's, you know, culture books or in your reports or brand guides or, you know, any sort of large format uh, document that has a lot of content in it. Now, if you don't use paragraph styles and character styles, it is going to be a pain to go back and make revisions. So it is really essential that you kind of master these, uh, the basics of using these. So let's go ahead and create a style, right? So we're going to start by just selecting some of our copy here. And we're going to paragraph styles and we're going to click new. Okay. So you see this little button here, create new style that will automatically create paragraph style one. If I double click on it, I can rename this body copy. Now in here, you can kind of see all the uh, style settings that it's sampling. So it's pulling Avenir 10, right? It's pulling from all the styles that I had applied there. Now, the beauty of this is, let's say I wanted all the rest of this to be body copy. I could just select it and choose body copy and it will automatically apply it for me. Maybe this one was a headline, right? So let's go ahead and create one for a headline. Double click, call it, we'll call it header. And then I just have to click here and it doesn't really matter. I could select the whole word. I can just select a part of it because it's applying to the entire paragraph. Right. So as you guys know, if we do a hard return, a paragraph break by hitting enter, we are creating a new paragraph. So to kind of show you that, um, if we go to type show hidden characters, you can see right where the paragraph breaks are. So this would be one paragraph. Then this would be a second paragraph, right? So if I click in here and apply it, it's going to apply to that entire paragraph. We'll go ahead and put body copy back on it. All right. Now let's say, you know, we're working on a document and we're almost done. And then our art director or, you know, our CEO or whoever it is comes back and says, I don't like the color blue. Now, if you were working with a large document, that would take forever to go through and update each one. But with paragraph styles, it's really easy to do, um, really easy to update. We could just double click on it and then go to our where is it? Where's our colors? Character color. And we can change it this way. If we click preview, we can see what that looks like. Or something else we could do is we could just change it up here. But then look what happens. It gets a little plus sign after it. That little plus sign means that our paragraph style was overridden, right? Because remember before when we looked at that style, it was we had our uh, cyan in there. We overrid that when we made it red. So we have a few options here. We could one, apply the header and clear the override. So that's clearing out the red text. Or what we could do is we could redefine the style. 
So I'm right clicking, by the way, when I pull up this panel. Um, and I'll turn on this uh, option that shows like a little yellow ring when I right click. So whenever you see a yellow ring around my cursor, you know that I am right clicking. But anyways, I could right click on that and choose redefine style. And now it's gonna make all those headers throughout my document red. And you can see now that that color value is a part of it. So it's, it's pretty easy to work with. You know, let's say for example, maybe our type is a little bit too big. We want nine point instead. Maybe it's, you know, we want it to be a little softer. We want it to be a shade of gray. Again, we can just right click and choose redefine and it's going to redefine it everywhere for us. Maybe we want to add some paragraph spacing, right? We can add a little bit of paragraph spacing up there. I can redefine it. And you know, if we had other paragraphs up here, it would do the same with that little bit of spacing. Uh, so that's basically uh, paragraph styles. You know, they are a set of formatting attributes that apply to our paragraphs. Now, characters are uh, specifically for characters, right? So, for example, maybe we want this to be bold. Maybe we want it to be a black oblique, right? Now, this we don't want it to override our paragraph style. So, what we're going to do is we're going to actually create a character style, right? So paragraph styles are kind of our foundation. Our document is made up of paragraphs. Character styles are applied on top of that foundation. Once we establish that base, then we can go and add some of these little uh, styles over top of it. So this one might be called bold italic. So with this, it is important, guys, with character styles that you are selecting characters. It doesn't work like I showed you before. Like if I click here and apply it, it's not going to apply it to that whole word. I have to select all of those characters and then I can apply that character style. Okay, so you can make character styles for basically anything that you would be putting on top. You know, maybe I have one just for italic. So instead of bold italic, it's just italic, right? Maybe I have one for you know, maybe it's a different color here, right? Maybe it's underlined. We would call that colored underline. Basically all of those uh, styles that I want to apply on top of my initial body copy. So now you can see if I go back to my paragraph style, right? It's not overridden because this is still a body copy. We just have the character style on top of it. It's like layered on top of it. So I can go back through my body copy, you know, and if I want to maybe pump it up or in, maybe I want to just like increase the size of it a bit, you know, I could still do that and it's applying to everything. So this is basically how we start to create our style sheets. Okay. So that is paragraph styles and character styles. I know I went through that uh, really quickly and there's so much more you guys can do with this. Um, like you can get into nested styles and some really advanced stuff, but I just wanted to give you guys a really quick overview of the basics so you can start to get uh, familiar with paragraph styles and character styles if you're not already. Uh, so I hope you guys found this helpful and you know, as always, reach out if you have any questions. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.